welcome to Hooch Through History, the historical fiction edition. I'm Christine Trent, and I'm here at The Modernist in San Antonio, Texas. And I'm here with my good friend, Vanitha Sankaran. And we are here to present you with a very interesting historical drink. Now, Vanitha, did you know that George Washington went to England in the 1750s? No, I had no idea. What did he do there? Oh, many things. But he enjoyed some interesting drinks, most particularly. And they are documented in a novel by Tim Queeney entitled George in London. And I'd like to read a little passage from that book for you. The back hall nearest the kitchen was provided with several long tables and lit by four candelabras. Across the tables was arrayed a rich selection of sweetmeats, roasts of beef, quails, pigeon pie, cold mutton, veal chops, Colchester uh, oysters, ox palates, pickled whiting, turtle soup, peas, boiled potatoes, leeks, apples, oranges, plums, cheese both white and yellow, loaves of bread, cakes, syllabubs, fruit pies and tarts. And if that wasn't enough. To drink were bottles of cherry wine, a bowl of brandy punch, fustian punch, mulled wine, French claret, Madeira sack, heavy port wine, porter, ale, gin, and rum. As this was a sailor's spirit, I fancied the Baron had provided it for my benefit and so availed myself a plenty. I see. Quite a drink. Ah, so tell me about this drink. The, so it's called a rum fustian. This is. Wh why? This is a rum fustian. And so uh, things like this have been in, in existence since about the mid 17th century. Uh, it's been known as the rum boozle before. It's got all kinds of different names. And what do you imagine, based on its name, that the, the main alcoholic drink in it is? Rum. No, no, it is not rum. It is actually gin, is actually the main drink in it. So how it gets its name is uh, the Roman word for strong or potent was rum, uh -huh. so that. And then we know that, that uh, fustian is pretentious. So we're talking about a drink that is strong and pretentious, is what we have here. And it doesn't have rum, so what does it have? The drink is, is called a rum fustian, and it's a combination of um, a really stout beer, smooth creamy beer, and sherry, and gin, believe it or not. So we're going to begin by, um, we're going to build this in a glass. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the egg yolk, and just pour the sherry contents, about two ounces of sherry into each glass. Just going to stir that in. So the idea is to get it <clears throat> to a nice thick creamy consistency. And the rum fustian is basically a, um, a counterfeit rum. So it's, uh, it's a drink designed or kind of to mimic the flavors of a rum, but it was uh, consumed in England, uh, a lot of the times uh, during hunting times and so forth, people, after they would come back from the hunt, they would consume these on a cold morning and they would warm themselves and uh, it really works. So let me go ahead and pour in my beer. Now I've warmed this. I'm going to just pour it in little by little because I don't want the eggs to get too firm and cook in there. So we're going to add it slowly. And you can already see the color taking shape. It's going to look a lot like an Irish coffee. And there it is. Now we're going to add a few spices in there. I'm going to do just a little bit of allspice dram, just a touch of it, to give it a little more of a spiciness. And the sherry I used is an East India sherry, and it already has a lot of those uh, nice root flavors in it, aromatics. And I'm going to sweeten it with just a little bit of orgeat, which is an almond syrup. So now we have the dark beer, we have the East India sherry, a little bit of the allspice dram, and some almond syrup. Lastly comes the gin. So typically, they'll drop a shot of gin in there. Um, I'll go ahead and come close to that, do maybe an ounce. And this is there just to give it a little spirit punch. 
and we're going to top it with just a little bit of nutmeg. You can use a knife if you don't have a microplane. The rum fustian. So you want to try it? Yeah, let's give it a try. All right, let's take a taste. Oh, cheers. Cheers. That's strong. I think it's pretty good. It's not bad. I like it's warm. Yeah. And it's really it's actually quite tasty. I, I, I have to admit to being surprised. I thought that would be a hot mess, but it's really good. <laughs> yes, indeed. So this is a drink that uh, George Washington back in Virginia probably wouldn't drink. He would have been a man who he, he uh, did beer on his plantation and whiskeys. He would have drunk uh, eggnog, uh, mint juleps, things like this. This was probably something interesting he got while he was in England. But I hope he enjoyed it as much as we did. So try this out at home and let us know what you think. Post on our social wall, post pictures, post your thoughts about the drink. Tell us what you think about just having watched us drunk it and have a great day.